Yes, sir. Ravi Durai? Yes, sir. I, are you able to see my screen? Yes, sir. Okay, okay. So, as discussed, this is the structure. Uh, based on this, we are going to do a pra practical on this. Okay. How, how to create an enterprise, legal entity, primary ledger, four fees, prerequisites. Yesterday, ma'am explained, no? Uh, that is all uh, in practical, how, how uh, at, it has to be set up. Okay. The uh, okay. Uh, instance, how it has to be set up, that we I am going to explain. Okay. So, we will go to instance. See, uh, Durai Ravi? Yeah, yes, sir. You have not seen the instance, no? Uh, Fusion instance. Hello? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. This is this is a uh, web page, no? So the instance uh, here, the, you can uh, access it through mobile or any, wherever uh, in, uh, even in your mobile also you can uh, access this. Okay. 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 Now, uh, now see, um, see, this is an instance. Uh, many people will be using this instance. Okay. It's for education purpose. Okay. For uh, training and all, uh, they have given this instance. Okay, but in real time, in in, in real time scenario, uh, if you go for an implementation uh, uh, in Oracle pro product, uh, you will be given one inst uh, one uh, user ID that is called uh, sysadmin. The, the, the in with that uh, sysadmin, you will be you will be able to create one implementation user. Okay, uh, uh, by impl uh, in the implementation mm -hmm. user. You can uh, you can assign the roles to that implementation implementation user, and you can uh, then you can uh, that uh, from that implementation user he can do a setup. Okay, you can do uh, do a setup. I will explain to you. Okay, I will tell you. See now the, assume that this is sysadmin. Okay, uh, Oracle product uh, user ID. Okay, Oracle product. User ID sysadmin. Like uh, assume that like that. Okay. Now password uh, I will give you. So now you are you going to. This is a uh, this is front end screen. Okay, uh, okay. Uh, Ravi, Adurai. This is front yes. end screen. Okay, this is this this is a uh, sysadmin. Okay, this user ID. You assume that sysadmin. Okay, now okay. now uh, see uh, for example um, you are for example uh, Adurai Morgan is the project leader. Okay. Uh, for uh, you are going to you, uh, you are going to a client place for implementation. Durai Morgan uh, under the Durai Morgan Ravi will be uh, Ravi will be a team member. Okay, okay. The every when you go for an implementation you, uh, uh, for implementation functional consultant there will be a team. Project leader will be there. Under that five people will be working with him. So Durai Morgan will be the financial consultant under him uh, ravi will be a team member he, uh, ravi also a functional consultant okay now uh, this is uh, sysadmin okay now uh, 
uh, what uh, durai is going to do durai is going to create one user id for him durai is going to because he is a functional consultant he wants to do a setup or configuration okay. in the system so uh, configuration in the system for, for that he is going to create a user with the help of sys admin this is sys admin for example i am telling sys admin now how to how to create a user for durai morgan durai morgan uh, for durai morgan uh, he needs an user id now we have to go to navigation here this is called uh, here one thing is there call navigation if you click there one minute yeah here see navigator in the navigator uh, this uh, uh, see lot of things are there which i will explain to you later on okay in the coming classes i we, we will separate a session we will give you how to access this uh, uh, this uh, notification that home page what is that that and all we will uh, how to access this application how to how to uh, set your favorites and all that we will explain later on okay but uh, moving forward uh, first we will go to how to create a user how to assign the roles and all okay now uh, this is a user called uh, uh, admin user now durai morgan wants to create a user so what you have to do in the navigator under tools security console is there you click that so now durai morgan is a project manager so he wants to do a setup for he, for that he needs a permission that is for for that he needs a permission no to do a setup so for that first he needs to create a user in his name so he is creating a user so uh, in the first step is in the in the navigation tools under security console here user is there first you have to click the user click the user now the screen comes this is roles that and all i will explain later on first uh, first how to create a user you will i will explain to you user add user account okay so durai morgan is the project head okay now uh, see you are working for a client so uh, you create a name in the client itself okay that is better uh, instead of creating in your own name you can create in your uh, client name itself uh, because uh, it it will be it will have all the applications uh, you can access all the applications so you can uh, create in the uh, client name so, uh, in which client you are going to do for buddy pharmaceutical client you are going to do a uh, implementation so for that you need a user okay so uh, user name is i am going to give but the last name see anything uh, with the asterisk is mandatory without asterisk not required in ebs uh, ravi in ebs uh, no yellow color means uh, mandatory white is optional like that here yeah, if it is any field with uh, having asterisk is mandatory okay so uh, sir just one suggestion i can uh, give it as uh, buddy pharma no last name as uh, pharma ah uh, pharma correct correct Uh, that is oh, that is where okay. yeah. yeah yeah ah okay 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 now username will be buddy dot buddy or buddy dot pharma we can keep it okay okay buddy dot buddy okay buddy dot buddy and the password you have to give b u t d y ma'am user id okay no ah uh, yes sir that's fine yeah okay because i think buddy pharma was given to somebody else uh, because that was uh, popping Achha, up okay okay yeah that's fine b u okay now this is password and confirm password okay now what you have to do after creating this you have to save and close save and close you have to verify whether user id is correct or not so now the you have created the user now it is uh, your user is validated 
you are given the password and confirm password also got validated okay now what you have to do next buddy in the name of buddy you have created an user okay but if you go to that user you will you will not find i will tell you so you sign yeah. out and sign in uh, yeah yeah with that buddy yeah so i am i am using implementation user id that is buddy dot wherein you can do an implementation but now see i will tell you the difference see now when you go to here see there is no none uh, anything uh, you are not found see social only few things are appearing in the navigations ah uh, in the navigator see you are not find anything uh, only tools in that you are not find uh, two things you have to uh, remember uh, one is it uh, security console and another is setup and maintenance here in the tools uh, security console should be there another is uh, scheduled to process these two things should come here okay if you if you assign uh, if you assign Uh, it security manager here here uh, in the tools in the tools security console will uh, will appear okay if the uh, the job uh, the role of it security manager is i told you no already uh, the, uh, the the durai durai yes, sir it security manager role what it will do yes sir yes sir it will create an uh, it will allow us to create a user okay user yes sir by accessing the by by creating the role of uh, or by assigning the role of uh, it security manager we will be having a access to security console here in the tool security console is not there why because we have not assigned the role of it security manager similarly okay, okay. similarly here see in the user see here in this settings and actions setup and maintenance that is fsm is not there fsm is not there where we can maintain the we can maintain the we can do a settings and configuration the see uh, while as, uh, after assigning the role of role of application implementation consultant we can able to acts we can able to access the, uh, the uh, settings called fsm that is setup and maintenance we can have an access to fsm where we can see this is not because since we have not we are not assigned the role of application implementation consultant that is why setup and maintenance fsm is not appearing here similarly here we are not assigned the it since we are not assigned the it security manager role in the, uh, the uh, because of which security console is not appearing similarly synchronization process also should appear synchronize after creating roles and assigning uh, after creating user and assigning roles okay see uh, after that you have to do a synchronization process okay that to that is not appearing why because you are not assigned uh, you are not assigned a role of employee user employee user you have to, uh, that is abstract role employee user you have to assign these three roles to be assigned one is application implementation consultant it security manager then employee role three roles has to be assigned then only you can able you can able to create uh, you can do a setup create a users 
and also you can do uh, you can do a synchronization process the three are important okay now since you are not assigned this three roles it is not coming now i will show you after assigning roles the screen will be different i will show you now what we will do if we will go to the admin sys admin that is uh, chn dot chn okay now uh, we will be assigning roles to buddy dot buddy that is implementation user super user okay okay now we will go, go to the sys admin sys admin okay now i am going to that so what is the uh, na navigation to go to the user uh, that is uh, view the access, view the user or creating the user just now i told you know navigation where uh, what is it ravi ravi hello yes sir hello yes sir yes sir are you listening yes sir yeah see uh, what is the navigation what is the navigation, navigation. to what is the navigation to uh, to access the uh, this see navigator i told you no to, for creating a new user navigator see in the vision oh. navigator under tools security console okay okay now we, we are in the sys admin okay now we are in the sys admin already we have created implementation user now by uh, by using this user okay by using this user we are going to assign three roles i may, i will be showing how to assign the three roles you know the concepts of uh, roles and users no ravi ravi you uh... know oh, he is not aware of ma'am because uh, in no. ebs uh, is different no so yeah. there is no i think we can share that video of uh, video. that okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah i will send it back because yeah. once he gets that picture of how what the users are and how yeah, yeah, yeah. we need to assign a role you know correct, to the user correct. it is a must it is a mandatory sure, uh, sure. okay ravi i think we'll uh, share that video you can just go through that and you'll get a better idea yeah, that, yeah, you know yeah. how sure, the sure. steps are Uh, but uh, uh, but uh, for giving more clarity i am taking this uh, assigning and correct, all sir. that that correct uh, correct sir no sir you are taking a detailed one i'm i'm just uh, telling him for him to you know let's see the dorai he can pictureize that uh, chart correct, of user correct. and i please. understand i understand yeah, yeah just, correct, just correct, for correct. that uh, no no yeah. the, the definitely we will be providing that uh, video okay. once he uh, okay. goes through that only he will be clear with this correct correct correct, correct sir correct uh now uh, already we have uh, created user so to in order to view the user what in search we have to give three characters so buddy dot buddy or you can do bu instead of that you can do buddy dot buddy and search so buddy dot buddy will be the user so in that if you click here or here you can view the user user detail okay now you view the user now in order to assign the roles what you do you have to click edit this is super user uh, that is implementation user so now you have to add the role click add click add role now three roles i told no first is application implementation consultant application implementation consultant consultant here yeah. you have to take this ora don't take this asm or uh, because the latest version is ora oracle application security manager application implementation consultant job that you have to select okay then mm -hmm. this, what this is job copy means Pe people will be doing a customized role they uh, generally copy uh, this role and put, uh, put it as uh, rename it as job underscore copy okay but this is oracle okay. provided that only you have to take okay okay this add role member because it is an instance no uh, for a training purpose many people would be accessing that is why you have to 
do it. But in the client instance, client uh, real time implementation, you will not be having this. You will not be That's having wrong. this. Okay. Uh, fresh instance, you will not be having uh, this data. You have to create. Okay. Right. Now, next uh, add role. Uh, next is what? IT? IT security? Manager. Manager. IT security manager. IT security manager role for creating okay. users. Application implementation consultant role for for doing setups. Okay. IT security manager here. Yes. That you have to add here. So add role membership. So you are adding that role. Add role click here. Done. So it is getting added. Now these two things added. Now again you have to add another role called employee. Employee abstract role. So employee if you type. You have to add employee abstract role here. You have to add. Add role membership. So three things you are adding. Okay. So. Now we have assigned three roles. Okay. Now, after this assigning, what you have to do? You have to save and close. Save and close. So now you have assigned three roles. Okay. Now, uh, what uh, what we will do? Whether this, uh, uh, the initi initially I showed you, no, buddy dot buddy, in that security console, setup, uh, setup and maintenance, schedule process, these three things is not there. Now, after assigning the role, we can go and check whether this uh, this is coming or not. We will check it. Okay. Okay. So now, we we will sign out of this uh, sysadmin. Now, henceforth, we are going to use only buddy dot buddy, buddy not ah uh, buddy dot buddy because that is the implementation user. So we are going okay. to use only that. Okay. But before that, we want uh, we have to check whether that. I, IT security, IT security console, sorry, security console tool, uh, then FSM, then uh, schedule process. These three things are uh, in place or not, we have to check it. Then only we have to do a setup or creating user and all. Okay. Now, buddy dot buddy is the user. Okay. Now, uh, password, uh, okay, one minute. So now when you sign in, uh, I will uh, show you the difference. Earlier, the user ID in that, nothing is there. Uh, that is IT security console is not there. Security console is not there. Setup and maintenance is not there. Schedule process for uh, doing a schedule run for uh, after assigning role. Synchronization process cannot, uh, that, uh, for that schedule process, it is not there. Now it is appearing or not, we will check it. First, first we will check. If you click here, here, see. Now, Ravi, it's clear. Setup and maintenance. After assigning yeah, roles, yeah, yeah. assigning roles of application and application implementation consultant, setup and setup maintenance. And we can have access to setup and maintenance where you can do configuration. Okay. 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 Oh, right. Now, next. Next, you have assigned what? What role you have assigned? IT security manager. IT security, security manager, manager to to access uh, the uh, security console. Uh, after assigning IT security manager, you can have an access to the uh, uh, tool called what? Security console. So that we will okay. check whether it is appearing. Yes, security console is coming. After assigning role of IT security manager. IT security manager. Uh, security manager. Now third, after assigning employee role, employee abstract role, schedule okay. process is appearing. Oh, you understood? So security console, where you, with the help of security console, you can create the user. With the help of schedule process, you can do a synchronization process. Okay. 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 So okay. now, uh, with the help of setup and maintenance, you can do a, you can do a setup and we can do a configuration. Now it's clear? Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, 
now we will what we will do we have to uh, we you have to start a project correct no you have to start a project okay now i, I will to do uh, to create a project what you have to do uh, to do setups or anything this is a, this is the place where we can do a setup and maintenance so you have to click here okay. go to setup and maintenance If you click on setup and maintenance here see here this is the screen okay see i, I will tell you uh, durai you you know what is uh, uh, what is offering and uh, what is uh, options durai hello durai hello ravi ravi hello yeah yes sir durai ravi okay hello. what is offering uh, what is options durai uh, you know no that day ma'am taken no what is offering what is options ravi ma'am it represent one more business no 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 see uh, see in uh, ebs ebs you know no uh, uh, responsibility uh, in that uh, in the financial they will call it as financial model in eps correct no yeah yeah that's the application ah model uh, here we, we will call it as offering product family you know no what is product family financial letter scm and all product family of oracle oracle uh -huh. so uh, financial is called offering under financial what are the uh, uh, application ap ap gl ap ar cm fa okay that is uh, called options that is called options okay okay, okay. you understand what i am telling yeah, yes okay now you have to go to you click here here financial financial ec here here these are all the what these are all called options these are called called okay. options this is offering under this these are all called options okay now when you click this for example when you click uh, general ledger in the right side see these are all tasks these are all called task task means for example creation of primary ledger uh, then uh, payment terms data access set opening period open uh, account period that is first period like that these are all one task each and every thing uh, see here it, this is called task and group of task is called task list okay group of task called group of task called task list okay now it's clear what is meant by offering what is meant by what is meant by option and what is meant by task okay yeah offering is called uh, financial is called offering okay and under this uh, uh, various uh, fixed asset ca cash management and all uh, uh, the ap ar and all uh, called options and uh, task is task is what uh, so that is creation of payment terms and all uh, that is called under that options list of task is there see in in general ledger activities to be done that is called task c here uh, in this uh, general ledger general ledger here called here list of activities manage primary see these are all called task and if collection of task is called task list okay now again uh, now we will go to out uh, now we we are going to create create what implementation project how to create an implementation project here in the task in the task you have to go to, you have to click manage implementation project manage implementation project manage implementation project
manage in implementation project in that what you have to do you have to create this is implementation project this is implementation project page where you are going to add the project okay now what you have to do you have to create a project so you have to click here create if you click plus sign one screen will appear where you have to create the uh, you have to give the details that is a uh, uh, company name uh, in uh, to which client you are going to implement that name you have to give yeah this is so we are going to uh, do implementation project for buddy pharmaceutical so buddy <coughs> Pharmacy. Okay. Now, buddy pharmacy. Okay. Now, here assign to buddy dot buddy because you are the project leader. So buddy dot buddy client user. Okay. Start date. Okay. Okay. Finish date. Don't give. because project is going to start if you know the date you can give it will take 6 okay. months or 7 months uh, it, it depends on the pro, uh, because we can't uh, uh, exactly find like the date now next okay. go to click next when you click see here these are all the offerings lot uh, see compensation management customer enterprise financial and all now what we are going to implement as a, uh, uh, see durai murugan is a financial consultant so he is going to implement okay. only financial so what you have to do he has to select only financial so if we click okay. here you have to click financial here lot of see this is one offering uh, supplier invoice expenses fixed asset this is options expenses fixed assets are called options here yes. okay here yes. fixed asset then the customer invoice processing here revenue management you have to select this then only you can do a setup see what are all required for you to do a setup in financial that you have to choose okay so like this you have to put a tick mark fusion hub uh, then uh, later on also you can uh, add it suppose if you are uh, if you are uh, missing out something and you can also later on also add it uh, as a separate project okay this is a okay. analytical to uh, report uh, madam already told no in the ppt uh, analytics report for that these are all uh, that you can uh, include it okay then uh, fusion accounting hub and grants manager not required okay so this you are selected offerings and options you are selected now you have to save save and open the project so now you are opening the project Now one minute. Okay. Uh, now uh, this is the okay. Now saving. Yeah. One minute. See. Now this is after saving. It is uh, showing this. See. Now when you click this, automatically. Uh, uh, this is offering under this options. Yeah. Uh, under this. i told you no task and task list automatically system will will give the task list will give the task see here these are the task these are the task system will generate when you click when you select offerings and options system will uh, generate task 
okay uh, list of task it will generate now what you have to do suppose if uh, durai morgan wants to assign this task to someone like uh, ravi and all for example he wants to assign uh, suppose he, uh, if he wants to assign this uh, for example uh, uh, this part common application for financial if we can assign means if you have to click assign then you have to choose the user for example he is uh, selecting uh, ravi as a user i because he is a team member so that uh, particular task he can assign so lakshman for example i am choosing lakshman search so here Sir, i think time is less than 1 minute 1 minute ah, okay 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 uh, uh, say tomorrow we will continue okay 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 so you, now till now you have understood now what is that yes sir yes sir okay 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 tomorrow i will continue this okay, okay. ma'am yes sir it is yeah. already uh, time 1 yeah, minute yeah time so is up yes tomorrow okay, we will okay. continue with this huh? okay 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 thank you thank you thank you okay okay thank you bye